All right, man. Detroit Lions released their first depth chart for week one, their first official depth chart for week one versus the Philadelphia Eagles. Let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. We go through an injury report too, which the Lions got a lot of injuries, especially to the offensive line. I mean, unfortunately, starting to become somewhat of a Holmes Campbell tradition. I mean, on top of uh, Brad Holmes, continue to draft injury and broke up players. Um, uh, may not bode too well for uh, the grit couple of Brad Holmes and uh, Dan Campbell, but um, check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button, it's the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications, we go live or drop video, but um, yep, yep, drop it like it's hot, player. Here you go, the first depth chart for the Lions. Um, so, I mean, at the end of the day, uh, they got some injuries here, man. Um, so, we might not see the team in full strength. Tommy Kramer dealing with a back. And Azorki, I mean, I think we, a lot of people, just going to give up hope on him. He dealing with a back. Uh, Ragnar was a groin. Uh, you got a couple, Elefanu and uh, Julian Accord dealing with hamstrings. Um, those tend to kind of be a hot topic towards uh, the beginning of the training camp. So, I mean, at the end of the day, man, Brad Holmes just got to stop drafting players that's already broken up and injured. Those for teams that um, can afford to do so. You know, those are for teams that can afford to do so. We're not one of those teams that, you know, that fortune tend to roll our way. And, you know, and I said yesterday, just like uh, with their – whatever formula they using um, – training camp strength and conditioning and whatever else you know they got going on man right now it ain't working so they gotta look at the strength and conditioning coach their nutrition uh the personnel that they that they targeting um there, there's a lot to be there's a lot to be kind of investigated on why this keep happening now it could just be a freak accident you know it, it really can it could just be a freak accident but um, I'm not sure if, if that's, you know, the case. You know, I'm not sure, but only time will tell. But right now, we, we ain't going through with a full deck off the rip, and it's a very good, talented team. So Kramer and Ragnar may be out on Saturday, so you might see Evan Brown and Stenberger step in. Now they're saying that they may consider um, putting Penisa Will at guard and bringing Matt Nelson in to play tackle right tackle that means they have zero faith in logan stenberger so they got zero uh, faith in logan stenberger so that's just something to think about as well too so um tight end hawkinson bragg right and shane zelstra maybe your three tight ends your number one receiver will be dj shark uh number two will be josh reynolds the slot will be a mara st brown um josh reynolds don't have a backup with two backup receivers behind him is Qu is well the one is quintess cephas um, Amar Brown, backup is Cleve Raymond. So those be your five receivers coming to the season. Shark is your, your, your number one. Reynolds, number two on the outside. Amar Raj, your slot. He going to be – he really the number one guy, Amar Ross and Brown. But we we'll see what he can do on the outside. So, I mean, look good from on the skill position so far. Um, running back, DeAndre Swiss, Jamal Williams, then followed by Craig Reynolds. Um, I don't I don't like the fact that Jamal Williams in front of I don't like the fact that Swift War Williams above Craig Reynolds. That's just my opinion, man. I think Reynolds should get the load and he just got a burst that Williams ain't got got and he got a, a toughness inside and the durability that DeAndre Swift don't have. I like to see kind of Swift kind of just kind of peppered in there. What's so funny is Christian McCaffrey is already injured. You know, Christian McCaffrey is already injured, which is like wild. But uh you know, but Dak Prescott's on the injury report because the cleat made his foot feel uncomfortable. Just some of the crazy stuff that you hear out there. So, uh, but uh, Golf and Nate Subfield we don't feel any more comfortable with Subfield than Tim Boyle or David Blog, by the way. So, I mean, they got some things out here working, but offensive line is supposed to be a strength. Now it's going to be another built in excuse for Jared Golf if things don't go the right way for the Lions. And also, interior of that line is pretty important, too. <clears throat> it's the quickest way to the quarterback, but them tackles are important too because you know they're the most important. Uh, you look at the defense coming out here: uh, Aiden Hutchinson, uh, Michael Broxer, Salim McNeil, 
And Charles Harris is your even, your four three front. It look like your even front. Um, even though they're gonna be in a base nickel. So uh, you know, uh Lee McNeil and Brockers, I mean, they don't really have any interior pass rush until you find out what Josh Pascal is gonna do, and then until you find out um if Levi Anisorki is ever gonna be healthy to play in the National Basketball Association. I mean the International Football Association. So we we just won't know. Okay. So, uh, but, you know, they're going to have some heat on the edge for sure. Um, they backed up by John Kaminsky and Julian Okora. And uh, Hay Hudson Harris is backed up by Austin Bryant. So, at some point, we may see Romeo Okora get back. I, I, for, I would foresee that, you know, he's probably in his last uh, year with the Lions. I guess him him nor um, – him nor uh, – Kenny Galladay uh, was the answer. You know, neither one of them dudes was the answer at all. So uh, we should have both let them walk. Romeo Cora just, I think one of the things he struggled with was, uh, you know, one of the things that he struggled with was, uh, was, you know, standing up. You know, it's, it's, it's a different ball game when you're standing up uh, than when you have your hand in the dirt. And I think he struggled with standing up. In my opinion, um, but uh, but it seemed like you know Charles Harris keep playing the way he playing, you know they got his replacement, you know. So, um, but we we kind of see what happened, um, you know, going forward with that. But they gonna need some push from the interior of that line, and right now they don't have it, unless Isaiah Bugs and Benito Jones give you something, which I don't expect much from them anyway. They nobodies. Chris Board and Alexander Zonio start two linebackers because they're gonna they're gonna be in a base nickel formation. Um, you know they go into a four three they go into a four three. Barnes probably gonna be your next linebacker out there, but uh, I don't like none of the linebackers. And Zonio is straight. Chris Board is backed up by Michael Rodriguez and Josh Woods, and Alexander Zonio is backed up by Derek Barnes. They just a, the worst linebacker core in football. I'm safe. I feel safe saying that they are the worst linebacker core in football. And that's just and that's just the fact. You know, this this linebacker core is truly ugly on paper. And they say they really like their linebackers, but we'll see. You know, sometimes you just need somebody to fit your scheme, and that's it. And that's all you that's all you looking for, somebody to fit with your scheme. So we'll see. We'll see. But it's a nasty, it's an ugly linebacker core. And then Jeff Okuda, uh, well, excuse me, Monty Warrior. And Jeff Okudio starting two cornerbacks. Mike Hughes is going to be starting in the slot. That's going to be their base. He backed up by Chase Lucas. Jeff Okudio be backed up by Will Harris. And Manny Warrior be backed up by Bobby Price. Don't forget as well is that uh, my man, what's my man's name? Uh, Drew Davis will be coming back off injury at some point. Okay. At some point, he will be coming back off the injury. So, uh, so yep, 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 yep. Um, carrying on, uh, your safeties are Tracy Walker, Deshaun Elliott, they backed up by F.A. Melifanu, Kincarby Joseph, and Juju Hughes. Um, so, uh, Melifanu was injured uh, again this year with a hamstring. Uh, Austin Sieber, Jack Fox, you know, a kicker, holder, punter, your punt returners, Khalif Raymond, uh, backed up by the Mara St. Brown. Kick returners are Khalif Raymond and the Mara St. Brown. So, um, I believe Austin Siebert is also injured, if my memory serves me correct. So, uh, you know, um, so uh, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. To be honest. So, a lot of injuries going around. Um, the team, but you know, I don't, I don't feel I don't feel any type of way. I don't really. Everybody love the roster. I don't. Um, simple fact that you need a, you need an Anazorki, and I'm not the one that said that. Dan Campbell said you need a big jump from year two guys. You know, and, and they needed something from. They need a big jump from Levi Anazorki. To be honest, be honest, man. And um, you know, they need that pressure up the middle. And then the guy they helped that they got to bring the pressure up the middle to help them out or. If he still was injured, and um, 
And um and Josh Pascal, you know, he was came, he was already injured. So that kind of hurt the Lions last year with no interior pressure. You don't have no good linebackers. I mean, I don't see what people truly see in this roster until it's healthy. And then the offensive line is going to give them an excuse uh, to say why they wasn't good. So right now, man, they got to get healthy. You know, they got to get healthy. But they got a lot of holes on this team, a tremendous amount of holes that need to be filled ASAP. And I'm talking about injuries. So, you know, they can properly evaluate this franchise. So, um, but, yeah, they got a tremendous amount of holes. But uh, you look at the injury report real quick, which a lot of this could change. Um, so, they, so they have not updated the injury report. On their, oh, here we have. Here we go. Here we go. So, Tommy Kramer injured, did not practice. Did not practice Wednesday, Thursday. Levon Zorky did not practice. I, I don't expect you gonna see him. You, I'm a, they might put him on the street. How injury prone he is. Like he, you may never see him at full strength for Detroit. Ragnall, he been with a groin, limited uh, Wednesday. Did not practice Thursday. Melifanu, Elifanu, Elifanu, Melifanu, limited Wednesday, Thursday with a with a uh, hamstring. Julian McCor, Limited Wednesday, Thursday with hamstring. Chris Ward, linebacker, knee limited. He was a full practice Thursday. Uh, John Kaminsky, defensive end, illness, uh, full practice. Austin Siebert, he got a groin injury limited. He was full practice today. On the Eagle side of things, um, Derek Barnett, ribs, he was full practice Thursday. Javon Hargrave, nose tackle, full practice Thursday. Miles Sanders, running back, said he ready to go. Full practice as a missing camp with a hamstring. Josie Scott, cornerback, limited Wednesday, Thursday. So we'll see how it go. But, hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live and drop video. Financial, you want to support the channel. Cash out, dollar sign, CJ Good 313 Venmo, CJ Good 313 PayPal link in the description. Hit the link to you. Find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Um, all that's in the link tree. Appreciate the love support. Peace.